What's up, my peeps? I'm Sarah. And I'm John. And today, we're having fun with Easter candy. It's gonna be sweet. <laughs> Let's get started. Today, we're gonna play a game of Chomp or Stomp. Each round, we'll get a mystery item and one clue about what it is. Based on our clue, we get to decide which one of us wants to chomp and which one wants to stomp. Then we're gonna reveal what item we have and get to chomping or to stomping. This is gonna be fun. Are you ready, John? Let's do this. Okay, our first clue is a horse. It's a horse. Hey. What is your guess? What do you think is under here? I was gonna say zebra striped gum, but this isn't a zebra. What do horses eat? Hey. <laughs> That's right. my guess is hey, hey, let's <laughs> hey, let's get to revealing. You know, you know what? I will go ahead and, and chomp for this one. You're gonna chomp? I appreciate yes. that. Yes. I guess I'm gonna stomp. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> you know. It's a carrot. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. That makes a lot of sense. Nice and healthy. Oh, good old carrot. Let's see how well I can stomp. A carrot! Stomp. Bye, carrot. Bye. Stomped. Nice and crunchy. Nice and Ready for the next round, John? I am ready for the next round. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Sarah, what do you think our next clue is? I don't know. We should find out. Let's take a look. Oh. It's a, oh, it's a bunny. He's cute. Oh, he's cute. Look at that. What, so what does this clue mean? Like, may, we've already, so what would this even be? I think maybe a chocolate bunny. Ooh, I hope so. If it is, I want to chomp. Okay, you can chomp and I will stop. Three, two, one. Yes! Oh, it's chocolate it's bunny! Chocolate bunny! I cannot oh, wait. He's so to... cute. He is. He's so cute that I'm gonna chomp. Oh. That's some good chocolate bunny. Rest in pieces, chocolate bunny. Wow, that was aggressive. Let's move on to the next one. All right, John, you ready for the next clue? Yes. Okay, let's, let's see. see. Ooh. It's a circus tent. Yes. Animal crackers, like, you know, like that, ooh, something like that, you know, That's like circus. A good guess. I was gonna say maybe like peanuts because of elephants. Ooh. So, what do you wanna do? Do you so, wanna stomp or chop? I kinda wanna stomp. Okay, then yes, you should stomp. Okay. All right, no. ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Oh. Popcorn, but hot cheese popcorn. I have had spicy popcorn, real good, but you get to have it now. Oh, there you go. Is it pretty good? Is it mm -hmm. spicy? Oh, that's pretty spicy. It's pretty spicy? Pretty hot? Well, Ready? you got to chomp. That means I get to stomp, so. Oh gosh, that was loud. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Stop. Oh, wow, that's weird. There you go. All right, John, next round? Let's do it. Okay. All right, Sarah, you ready for our next clue? Let's do it. Let's see what it is. What? Oh, it's a question. It's a question mark. Uh-oh. Does that mean it's a mystery? It might be gross. We're gonna find out. Do you want to chop or stop? Do you want to rock, paper, scissors for it? We can rock, paper, okay. scissors for it. Whoever wins gets to stop. Yes. Okay, ready? Rock, rock paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. Oh, that oh, means I get to stop. No. Yeah. Because I really don't want to eat something gross. <laughs> All right. No, I believe in you. Better than the present. Ready? Right. Set. Go. Oh, oh it's a cupcake. Oh. Is there something suspicious on the inside, though? You're gonna find out. I'm gonna find out right now. Looks safe. It, does, it looks like it looks like it has not been tampered with, but I guess we'll see. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a normal cupcake. It's a good normal cupcake. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I want to see what a good normal cupcake looks like when it gets stomped. Oh, there it is. That's a flat one right there. It's stuck there. to the bottom of your boot. It's stuck to the bottom. There you go. Nice. Oh, there you go. That's pretty. <laughs> that's still a pretty good cupcake, even on the bottom of boot. Hey, I get to I get to chop and stomp. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty good. No. Um, kids, if you get a cupcake on the bottom of your boot, maybe don't eat it. Um, don't do that. Yeah, but this was fun. There you go. This was fun. Good game. I love Easter candy, and today I had so much fun. Me too, John. 
Easter candy is pretty sweet. But hey, kids, can you tell us who we celebrate on Easter? Shout it out! That's right, we celebrate Jesus. And today's Bible story is all about him. But first, it's time for the Creation Corner where we're gonna get our clue. So let's check it out. Hi everyone. Today we're gonna make a surprise egg. I love these. First, we'll put our surprise capsule in the egg mold. Then we'll add the egg to the machine. Next, we'll add our chocolate. And we'll use this handle to spin the egg and make sure that the chocolate spreads out evenly. Finally, we'll give it some time to rest. When it's done and you add a wrapper, it'll come out looking something like this. Let's open it up now and see what's inside. Hey, it's a palm branch. And the clue for today's Bible story about when people put palm branches down for Jesus. All right, everyone, stand up. It's time to jump into the Bible. One, two, three, jump! This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry just as God said he would many years before. I love that Bible story. <laughs> Me too. And now it's time for Super Speed Trivia. So everyone stand up, put on your thinking caps, and get ready to show us what you remember from today's story. Super Speed Trivia. What did the disciples bring Jesus? A donkey? 
or a tricycle? If you think the answer is a donkey, clap your hands. Or if you think that the answer is a tricycle, stomp your feet. No, the disciples didn't bring Jesus a tricycle. That's right, the disciples brought Jesus a donkey. What did Jesus' followers shout? Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse? Or Hosanna, Hosanna? If you think the answer is Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is Hosanna, stomp your feet. Jesus' followers didn't shout Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. That's right, Jesus' followers shouted Hosanna. What did the people put on the ground for Jesus? Slime or coats and palm branches? If you think the answer is slime, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is coats and palm branches, stomp your feet. The people didn't put slime on the ground. That's right. The people put their coats and palm branches down for Jesus. Awesome job, everyone. You can sit down. When Jesus came to Jerusalem on a donkey, he was doing what God said he would do a long time before it had even happened. And Jesus is God's son, the savior of the world. And he showed it so many times how powerful and amazing he is. And Jesus loves us no matter what. That's so special. We celebrate Easter to remember everything that he's done for us. That's right. And Easter candy's fun, but really Easter is all about Jesus. That's right. And that's today's big idea. Easter is all about Jesus. Let's say that together. Easter, Easter is, is all about, about Jesus. Jesus. One more time. Easter, Easter is, is all, all about, about Jesus. Jesus. Hey, I say we keep this super sweet celebration going together with a dance party. Everyone stand up and let's dance. Hit it, DJ. Dance.